shall we? Art! Hey, Don, the wife said to thank you for the flowers. Glad she liked them, Art. How's she coming along? Oh, fine, fine. She'll be home in another week. Good. Then you got no excuse for ruining the food from now on. Absolutely not. Hey, Don. Don, do me a favor. Get the guy at my table. The guy's driving me nuts. The guy's a real hockey puck. Okay, Frankie. Hi, Karen. How's business tonight? Another packed house tonight, Mr. Rickles. You sure make me earn my money. Boy, she's pretty. My luck, I'm happily married. The first laugh got to get him right away. Some night I'm going to walk out there and whammo right down the tubes. Not a laugh. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Don Rickles! Not tonight, huh? Please? Please? Rickles! Starring Don Rickles! Co-starring Jack Bugman, Don Adams, Michelle Lee! Almost starring... James Kahn, Michael Caine, Jose Ferrer, Arthur Godfrey, Elliot Gould, Larry Linville, Jack Valance, Otto Preminger, Bobby Riggs, Loretta Swift. anything, lady? Broad's got a cord on that. <laughs> That's enough in the audience. What are you, Monty Hall? Trying to do a show. I spoke to the home. You go Friday. Okay, that's enough. I said that's enough. Nah, I'm not gonna do the show. I don't need it. Listen to me, dummy. I'm your Walter Rico. The little guy inside your head, remember? <laughs> it's about time. I mean, you try to do a job and you ruin it. I'm an entertainer. I'm not a jerk here. There's a lot of people here. Look at these people here. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> supposed to bring me out with class and dignity. Can you see me? Now, I'll tell you something. Over here, over here. 40 million liters. I got to get an old guy going, uh, Don't bring me out like that. These guys, they don't care. They'll do any damn thing. Da -da 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 -da. I'm not even Mexican. Ha, 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 yourself. The Japanese kid, am I Mexican? You with the funny eyes, I'm talking to you. Kid sitting there going, who's got funny eyes? Nice crowd, you're nice people. It's good to have you here this evening. You Italian, sir? Nice. Now, a minute left to the van. Arabic. <laughs> anyway. No, I kid you. Sulefti machti, sulemachta tachta. Which means I hope you get a hump on your back. No, Arabic or Jew, we are brothers. Arabic or Jews, it doesn't matter to me, so we're all human beings. God bless you, really. I think you bought that. <laughs> anyway, uh... No, I kid you. <laughs> Shalom, peace. <laughs> the guy had a grenade on him. Just getting around, no need to get hot about it. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. It's time for the van. Hey, that's exciting. Louisville, Kentucky, right, Dad? What's your last name? Kernavellas. Kernavellas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have that in the Navy. It starts out as a rash. <laughs> and it becomes a Kernavellas. Is this the wife? <laughs> What'd you have for dinner, fish? <laughs> 
I'm a nice guy. In spite of what you heard, I'm a nice guy. You can bet your little bird. Whenever you see me, just don't stop the chat. I'm sorry, lady, I can't help it if you're fat. I'm a nice guy. People all adore me. I'm a nice guy. Psychiatrists explore me. I lie on their couch and they try not to bore me. A nice guy, that's me. I'm a nice guy. Mind at ease. A polite guy, lady. How about your knees? I love little kids and a stray cat or dog. But this group tonight is from a Sears catalog. I'm a swell guy. The band thinks I'm groovy, but they're all hot. They think they're out of movies. They only stay awake till you people approve me. A nice guy. That's me. Watch this, Louisville. I'm a nice guy. Rico showed me how. I'm sweet, I'm gentle, I'm loaded with charm. If you don't believe me, I'll break you off. I surely could defeat it. Oh, how she'd cry. I just couldn't beat it. A nice guy, that's me. And very sure of that, call me Otto, I'm just a pussycat, I'm really a sweetheart, I always was. Can't help it if he talks, like Kissinger does. Like who? Kissinger. Kissinger, our Secretary of State, speaks with a very pronounced German accent. Do you want to insinuate that I have an accent? No, Otto, to me you're a French role. Do whatever you want to do. I'm in Germany. Give me a break. I'm just a kid looking for a job. I love your movies. Help me, Otto. We go now. We go. I'm a nice guy. I'm a show. The targets of white packs. I don't mind their quips. But I get a nice shock from the ocean breathing. He's a nice shock. Enjoys what fine machinery. A one actor who really chews up the scenery. A nice shock, that's he. Here we go, shock. Come on, shock. We're moving now, Daddy. About what, 380? <laughs> 380. He goes in the bathroom, the seat goes, get off me. <laughs> 204 pounds, the brown bomber from Detroit, John Lewis. Run, sir. I can't stall all night. <laughs> Hello, sir. Nice to see you. What is your name, sir? Wait a minute. You got me. No, take your time. Try to think of your name. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> this is James Conn. He's a wonderful actor. <laughs> a 
producer, this is a fine actor, you all know, Elliot Gould. The English gentleman with the trick or treat glasses, Michael Caine. You know these two guys? James Conn, who I know way back, Elliot Gould, I knew way back when he was struggling, and I was a big star, and I've always loved you, Michael. I've loved you the best. You're a wonderful man. You really are. And good luck to your country. Thank you. Really. <laughs> you're laughing. You owe us a great deal of money. <laughs> World War II, we kept sending guys over there, and your king kept saying, could you send some more? <laughs> Having fun, huh, Pop? When I blow the whistle, attack him. Black guy went, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> I kid you, man. What's your first name, man? What? Mitch. Come here, Mitch. No, come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> hey, man. If we weren't on TV, I'd do more. <laughs> What's your last name, Mitch? Mitchell. Mitch Mitchell. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Okay, guys. <laughs> what do you do for a living, Mitch? I'm a cop. <laughs> My luck, can you see us? We'll be in Detroit. Okay, Jew, pull over. <laughs> Now let me hear them funny jokes again. <laughs> I only kid you, this is your country too. <laughs> well, I like you people on safari. Listen, <laughs> you ever do any acting, Mitch? These guys are good actors, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna be uh, for fun, okay? Uh, if you don't mind. Your pocket's that high? <laughs> anyway. I guess your psychiatrist put them there so you'll stop it. Anyway. <laughs> Dumbbells repeating it to Elliot. Elliot's going, I heard him. I know what he said. <laughs> now, come here, I'm going to be Cochise. Michael, you come on this side. Come over here, Michael. You're going to be running knife, okay? Jimmy, you get on the other side of Mitch, and Elliot, you get right over there. We're, we're gonna be, we're gonna be Indians, okay? Come here, Mitch, you got a minute? Now, nah, come here. Jimmy, no, get down by him, okay? Over there, Jimmy, good. You don't like to hang around health clubs, do you? He's a tough guy. Can you get down on your feet? What am I doing here? What am I? I feel like I'm a Polish lady trying to get my son out of prison. My son Koala checked and never kill anybody. A clean elevator, he'd come out of prison. Now. Nah. No, we're not gonna take football pictures. Put both feet on the ground, if you don't mind. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, Mitch. I need to... You're blocking Jimmy, he's a big star. Come over here. Jimmy, come around. Come around this way, Jimmy. Put both feet, I'll go for the cleaning bill. <laughs> Little fairy actor. Put both feet on the ground. <laughs> Worried about his lousy pants. My tuxedo's $350. That's a, how come, Amy? That's a suit you wear in Burma during a rubber plantation festival. <laughs> Your outfit's perfect. Now, Now, we're gonna do the ceremonial. My gun. I think I got malaria. Look at that, the Japanese guy went, goody, goody. <laughs> okay, now we do the Apache prayer, okay? I start.
Playing over at the Flamingo? Uh-huh. How you doing? Come on, come on, oh, we're right in the middle of the Broadway finale. Great number. Oh, thank you, Don. Hey, uh, you feel lucky tonight? I'm married. <laughs> oh, Don, you silly. No, I mean, can we give the casino a try? I can't. I keep all my money in my other pants. I've got all we need. It's not where you start. It's where you finish. It's not how you go, it's how you laugh. A hundred to one shot, they'll call you a klutz, but you can't outrun the favorite I and need is the guts. And your final return will not diminish, and you can be the cream of the crop. It's not where you start, it's where you finish And you're gonna finish on top It's not where you start, it's where you it's finish It's not how you go, it's how you land Hundred to one shot, they'll call me a klutz But you can't outrun the favorite, all you need is the guts You start at the top, you're certain to drop. You've got to watch your timing. Better begin by climbing. Up, up, up the ladder. If you're going to last, you can't make it fast, man. Nobody starts a winner. Give me a slow beginner. Easy does it, my friend. Conserve your fine endurance. Easy does it, my friend. For that's your life's insurance.
It's not where you start, it's where you finish. Two, three, four. It's not how you go, it's how you land. Two, three, four. A hundred to one shot. They'll call you a klutz, but you can outrun the favorite. All you need is the guts. bigger yet.
This is the wife, huh? She's built like my wife. Ooh. Same type. My wife takes off a bra at night and the head hits the sink. But I tell you, so help me, everything I do on this stage, I do for my heart to laugh at ourselves. May I, may, may I never go to heaven if I lie to you? <laughs> what are you taking oaths for? You're fooling around with heaven. No, 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 no. I'm just in charge of this section, uh, the show business section. Rickles, 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 Donald. You can call me Don. Mr. Rickles, just exactly what is it that you do? Well, it's not easy to explain. You see, uh, I, I insult people. You insult people? Uh, well, well, uh, not like that. You see, what, what I do is. I, I, I make fun of their size, their shape, their color. You know, I, 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 I sort of hit them below the belt, you know? Hit them right where they live. And take the skeletons right out of the closet. I see. Mr. Rickles has gone through life insulting people, poking fun at their infirmities and misfortunes, showing no sympathy, no feeling, no... It, would that be an accurate description? No, no, sir. You see, I'm in show business. That's my act. That's, that's an act. You never saw my act, huh? Is there anybody else I could talk to? No. Well, that, that's fine, fine. I, you must be busy anyway. Yes, I am. However, Mr. Rickles, I'm very sorry to have to say this, but uh, you surely couldn't expect to get through these gates with a record like yours. You've insulted people, you've been mean no, to them. No, 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 that's not true. You don't understand, sir. You see, in real life, I'm adorable. I'm a nice guy. They call me Mr. Warm. It's a good name where you're going. No, no, I have children and a family and a lot of friends. You have friends? Oh, millions. Oh, friends, Arthur. Oh, oh Dean, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, Don Adams, you heard of Don Adams. Oh, of course. Now, he's funny. <laughs> yes. Well, you, you wait right here and I'll go get him. Oh, don't bother. Oh, am I glad to see you? John, I'm glad to see you, too. Where in the world are we? Just shut up, huh, dummy? Tell this nice man what a nice man I am. Are you kidding? Why? Don, will you look around? Look around you and see where we are. Yes, well, that's all very well and good, Don. Look, I was just... What? You mean... Right. Oh. Now, tell this nice man what a nice man I am. Well, to tell you the truth, Don, you've got a lot of gold bringing me up here just to tell him that. Don, I'm being a judge. And high time, if you ask me. Your Honor, this man's record speaks for itself. The defense rests. That's it? That's it. You have nothing to add? Absolutely nothing. This man has been a thorn in my side ever since I've known him. Don! Well, it's true. You see, Your Honor, this man is very unique. He just makes fun of celebrities, and he picks on them, and they laugh at everything he says. He walks out on stage and says anything that comes into his mind, and they fall right out of their chairs laughing at him. Am I then to understand that this person, Rickles, actually does bring joy to the world? Oh, certainly, Your Honor. For example, did you see the picture, Run Silent, Run Deep? He played a despicable submarine commander. And in a picture called The Rat Race, he played a despicable bartender. Wasn't he ever in anything where he wasn't despicable? Uh, yes. Well, Your Honor, if you mind, could I borrow your pencil? Oh, I just loved you with that phone shoot. That's the good greatest thing. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Love the shoe phone. Uh, watch this. I am the gorilla leader. I am the leader. 
You are nobody. You hear me, American? You're nobody. You think you blow up the bridge? <laughs> you cannot blow up the bridge without me, because I am the maid. I am the gorilla. Yeah! Careful. Some of that's getting in your mouth. Which one was he? Uh, he was the despicable one drinking the wine. The drug? Thanks a lot. I'm so lonely. I gotta get abroad. Well, what does that word mean? Huh? Uh, what word? Broad. Uh, broad, yes. Uh, 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 oh, yes? Well, broad means... Uh, uh, a coconut. Uh, a papaya. Uh, with a lot of hickory nuts. That's too bad. Tarzan should have wanted a mate. Everybody's talking at me I don't hear a word they're saying Only the echoes of my mind People stopping and staring I can't see their faces Only the shadows of their eyes What kind of cigarette was that you were smoking? And don't give me that coconut papaya jazz again. Well, it was one of those, you know. Wait, it was you a... shut up and let me handle this. Uh, I'm sorry, Your Honor, but are you familiar with a man named Charlton Heston? Oh, yeah. Tall guy with blonde hair, usually walks around with a staff and a lot of sheep? Yes, indeed. Yes, well, you're going to love this. Children of Israel, I have been to the mountain called Sinai, and I have brought back the Ten Commandments. Would you believe five? I guess he didn't like Charlton Heston. Rickles, Donald, it is the final verdict that Hold hereafter... It. It's a good thing you didn't defend Dreyfus. Sir, before you make your final judgment, may I plead this case? I'm sorry, the verdict is in. That's it. But I understand this is the show business section, so you must know about comedians. Oh, yes, we have Will Rogers and W.C. Fields. W.C. Fields got in here? Well, this brand of comedy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What's a huh? Exactly my point. You see, comedy isn't just making people laugh. It's making them laugh at things that deserve to be laughed at. And Don Rickles doesn't insult people. He insults their, their prejudices, their greed, their stupidity, the things that divide people from one another. I do that? Shut up, he's on a roll. Because strange as it may seem, this clown believes in people. He believes in their goodness. That's why he tears into their badness as hard as he can. Hmm. We work somewhat on the same basis up here. How do you like that? He bought that jazz. Well, I, I think I'll look it over. I'll, I'll review the record. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> not, not of Rickles, of W.C. Fields. What a night. What a night, Milton Berle, 1926. Wow, what a night! There'll always be an actor. What a actor in lots of plays. Uh -huh. Mr. Roberts, born yesterday. Milton. Harriet the Wind. Funny. What a night. You were just on trial up there. In that play, you were on trial down here. But we were on your side. It's a matter of faith. You must not abandon faith. Faith is the most important thing. And why did God plague us with the power to think? Tell me, Mr. Brady, why do you deny the one faculty which lifts man above all other creatures on the earth? The power of his brain to reason. What other merit have we? The elephant is larger, the horse is stronger, swifter, the butterfly more beautiful, the mosquito more prolific, even the simple sponge is more durable. What does a sponge think? I don't know. I'm a man, not a sponge. Do you think a sponge thinks? The Lord wishes a sponge to think, it thinks. Does a man have the same privileges that a sponge does? Of course. This man wishes to be accorded the same privileges as a sponge. He wishes to think. But your client is wrong. 
He's deluded. He's lost his way. Too bad. We aren't all gifted with your positive knowledge of right and wrong, Mr. Brady. How old do you think this rock is? I am more interested in the rock of ages than the age of rocks. Dr. Page of Oberlin College tells me this rock is at least 10 million years old. Well, Colonel Drummond. I see you managed to sneak in some scientific evidence after all. Look, Mr. Brady, these are the fossil remains of a prehistoric marine creature which was found in this very county, which lived here millions of years ago when these very mountain ranges were submerged in water. I know. The Bible gives a fine account of the flood, but your professor is mixed up on his dates. That rock is no more than 6,000 years old. How do you know? A fine biblical scholar, Bishop Usher, was able to determine for us the exact date and hour of the creation. It occurred in the year 4004 B.C. That's Bishop Usher's opinion. It is not an opinion. It's a literal fact, which the good bishop arrived at through careful computation of the ages of the prophets as set down in the Old Testament. In fact, he determined that the Lord began the creation on the 23rd of October in the year 4004 B.C. at uh, 9 a.m. That Eastern Standard Time? Oh, Rocky Mountain time. Well, it wasn't daylight saving time, was it? Because the Lord didn't make the sun until the fourth day. That is correct. That first day. Was that a 24-hour day? The Bible says it was a day. Well, there wasn't any sun. How do you know how long it was? The Bible says it was a day. Was it a normal day, a literal day, a 24-hour day? I, uh, I don't know. What do you think? I do not think about things I do not think about. Do you ever think about things you do think about? Isn't it possible that first day was 25 hours long? There was no way to measure, no way to tell. Could it have been 25 hours long? It's possible. So you interpret that the first day recorded in the book of Genesis could be of indeterminate length. I meant to state that the day referred to was not necessarily a 24-hour day. It could have been 30 hours, or a month, or a year, or a hundred years, or 10 million years. I protest! I know what you're trying to do, Colonel Drummond. You're trying to destroy our belief in the Bible and in God. You know that's not true. I'm trying to stop you bigots and ignoramuses from controlling the education of the United States, and you know it. How dare you attack the Bible? The Bible is a book. It's a good book, but it's not the only book. It is the revealed word of the Almighty. God spake to the men who wrote the Bible. How do you know God didn't speak to Charles Darwin? Because God told me to oppose such men with evil teachings. Oh, God speaks to you. Yes. He tells you exactly what is right and what is wrong. Yes. And you act accordingly. Yes. So you, Matthew Harrison Brady, through our Atari legislation or whatever, pass along God's orders to the rest of the world. Gentlemen, meet the prophet from Nebraska. Well, I sometimes... Is that the way of things? God tells Brady what is good? To be against Brady is to be against God? No, no. Each man is a free agent. Then what is Bertram Cage doing in the Hillsborough jail? Suppose Mr. Cates had enough influence or lung power to railroad through the state legislature a law that only Darwin should be taught in the schools. Ridiculous, ridiculous. There is only one great truth in the world. The gospel according to Brady. God talks to Brady and Brady tells the world, Brady, Brady, Brady Almighty. The Lord is my strength. Suppose a lesser human being, a Cates or a Darwin, had the audacity to believe that God might whisper in his ear that an un-Brady sort might still be holy. Must men go to prison because they are at odds with a self-appointed prophet? Let us extend the testaments. Let us have a book of Brady. Yes, we'll slip you in neatly between Numbers and Deuteronomy. Ladies and gentlemen, Your Honor, you all know me. You, you, you know what I stand for. You know what I believe in. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe in the truth in the book of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Joshua, Judges. Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel. 1 Kings, 2 Kings. The testimony is concluded. The witness is excused. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel. Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah. Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Zechariah. Malachi. They're all laughing at me. I, I can't stand it when they laugh at me.
what is your, what do you do for a living? Seriously, son. Forget him. Next. The post, Get the redhead. Oh, the nice looking broad. Ooh, ooh, what a beauty. Sitting with the sports oh, shirt. Find out if they're married. Is that your wife, sir? <laughs> Holy. <laughs> take a look, Bobby. Am I wrong? She's take pretty at work. Like at work, I know. Stand it's up been and rough. take a look. Stand up and take a look. Stand up and take a look. You can take a look. You guys want to take a look. See if I'm wrong. Gee. Isn't that a bad looking broad? Holy. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> this broad must have been born and hit the hospital floor. Here, lady. <laughs> I kid you, sir. Try shots. <laughs> and a boy died, give him hell. I wish you hadn't said that. Sir. Could you, could you help me a minute? Sir, 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 if you could help me, somebody, anybody, help me. Could you help me, sir? Don, Don Riggles in person. I can't tell you I've looked forward to this moment. Are, are you the head guy around here? You know it. The original Mr. Warmth. I can't get over it. Don Riggles in my domain. Wow. You know, you're my idol. I'm your idol? You're my kind of guy. What be? You know, you're going to love it here. You're going to fit in perfectly. Now, we have Machiavelli, and we have Torquemada. He does the Inquisition bit. And, of course, the ever-popular Attila the Hun. And uh, let me see. Who else? Oh, yeah. See that fellow going by there? He's the one who threw the first match at Joan of Arc. I'm not like those people. Oh, I know. Compared to you, they're just small potatoes. <laughs> Fried potatoes. But don't worry. We've got a lot of biggies here. We've got the fellow who started the Chicago fire and the fellow who sank the Titanic. No, no, I'm not in that league. I'm a nightclub act. Oh, come on now. Don't be modest. What do you do to people? You insult black people, brown people, yellow people. White. That's good, too. And then the trouble you start. I mean, racial wars, TV game shows. No! You get people to fighting and stabbing and burning and killing. And make them laugh. Laugh? Oh, I see. You, you mean they die laughing. <laughs> That's very good. They always told me that you kill the people. My way, not yours. What does it matter as long as you get the job done? No, 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 Rickles. You are in our Hall of Fame. And you didn't get there by licking lollipops. Say, do you know Telly Savalas? He's a pussycat. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. You know, I hate to ask you to do this. You just got here and all that, but uh, could you do a little bit of your act for some of our guests? Come on, everybody, come on. Don Rickles is going to entertain us. Here we go. Gather around. I, I knew this was hell. Another benefit. Oh, there's the guy. That's the trouble. Yeah. Yacht San Charlie, whatever your name is, Japanese kid, hanging around the jungle all the time looking for hot cameras. And I don't even know if you're Japanese or Chinese. All you guys, you're probably a Jewish kid and you had your eyes fixed. I'm fed up with you, kid. Ah, uh, this is my kind of guy. There he is. Ah, huh? sure. Colored kid. You are a colored kid. If you ain't, you fell in a bucket of M&Ms. When I give the signal tap dance, that's all you people know. Just sitting around the house going, I'm coming home, daddy. I'm coming home. Who cares when you come home? Do what you do best. Sleep. Pain in the neck, just hanging around, just sitting by the railroad track going, here, sounder. Here, Sounder! Who cares about Sounder? Shoot that dog anyway. You're okay. Little, little, little big, but not bad. Okay, and get rid of that patch on your eye and get your own ship and get a group of pirates. Get Anthony Quinn and go out to sea for a half hour. You're annoying me, but you're big, you're big. My wife gets ill, I'm gonna give you a call. She should die by Friday. Now, uh, you're my kind of guy. Look at this, huh? All lump. You're annoying me. Got a nice personality. What happened? You run into a wall? Well, look at the nose on this guy. When you were born, you were a hawk. You got a bad nose. I'm telling you that as a friend. That thing is sucking up the sand. You ought to get it stepped on and fixed. Really. I don't understand it. All my biggies are in making it. I get screams when I work with this stuff. I don't understand it. That's your act? Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Rickles, I am bitterly disappointed in you. Now, well, another idle shot to heaven. Okay, come on, everybody. Let's get the oil ready. Oil one! What a one, I don't, I don't understand it. No laughs, Frank. 
Won't last for an eternity. All right, Rickles, we're ready for you. Come on. No, no, I don't belong with you. I can't sink the Titanic or start an earthquake. All I can do is make people laugh, and I do. I get them laughing at themselves and at the other guy and all the lousy problems and troubles that you cause. That's the only way to beat you, because every time somebody laughs, you lose. <laughs> Step aside, you dummy. Are you kidding me, you hockey puckers? You look ridiculous with your little trick-or-treat bow tie with the fake dicky. I hope you become a waiter in a bad restaurant and soup pours down your pants and you think your parakeet died. Ah, uh, kiss my dragonfly. I don't need you. I'm fed up with you. I don't know who you are, devil or not. Are you breathing on me? Because if you ain't, my socks are rolling down. Now get out of my life. I know how I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to laugh my way out. That's how, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he laughing? Is he coming towards me? Watch me, could be a lot of trouble. <laughs> I swear that it's true. I love to do what I do. To share this laughter I give. For just a little love from Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been a beautiful audience. And with your kindness, my fine arranger, conductor, and composer, who I'd be lost without, I adore him dearly, Mr. Bobby Kroll. Would you give him a big hand? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a group of gentlemen who are magnificent musicians, and I was delighted they played our show. Uh, and to their fine conductor, Mr. Nat Brandwin. Thank you, Nat, for your great, great work. <laughs> Nat Brandwin and his fine opera. Nat. If you would, a big hand for three great artists. Michael Caine, Elliot Gould, and James Kahn. Gentlemen. Take a bow, Jimmy. All right. Thank you, fellas. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been a wonderful audience. And all I can tell you, enjoy life. And as long as you live, never forget your mother if she be in the eternity or here on this earth, because to help me God, a mother will never forget you. I swear to that. Good night, Mom in Florida, and may God give you strength. So that's my story, and of all, thanks to your hospitality and the use it all. And Jimmy, every Tom and Timmy, good night and peace, God bless for the Argentinian Gauchos, the pipes and drums of the 1st Battalion of the Royal Scots Guard, the Nat Brandywin Orchestra, Frank Arno, Kareem Frederick, Michael Mignone, and Arthur Wall. In 
the beginning. Like all men, they were born. But from then on, all similarities ended. Cheech and Chong are the Corsican brothers. I'm your brother, Luis. You're lying. My brother was in Mexican. Look, it's me. Twins so close, they actually had each other's feelings. So that even when they fought, they truly felt for each other. Okay, okay, okay. Don't believe that. Yeah. Together, they're a new kind of team. The kind that will do anything for love. Who do your hair? For beauty. It's okay, I'm going to fix it. <laughs> Give me a kiss. For animals. It's a trisexual. A trisexual. Yeah, you'll try anything. Mud, chickens, anything. <laughs> for excitement. <laughs> and last but not least, for each other. It's hard being the queen. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> Especially in these pants. Cheech and Chong are the Corsican Brothers. Meet Arnold. He's a scream. <coughs> he really took care of his family. Arnold gave his bride a honeymoon she'd never forget. Heaven have mercy on my soul. All it takes, I suppose, is a bit of dust enough now and then. Arnold gave his widow some vanishing cream. <coughs> That goo was a real wrinkle remover indeed. <laughs> Arnold gave his brother a brand new suit. <sighs> his buttons is all that was left of him, poor chap. Arnold gave his sister a room of her own. Let me out, Daddy! When you're a skilled criminologist like myself.